Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm bringing you guys another episode of our Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are hyped for this episode, and I hope you guys are, show some love on that like button down below. Let's see if we can get 1,500 likes. Uh, no, 1,000 likes, 1,000 likes. Hey, let's see if we can get 1,500 likes. Why not, man? If you guys could do that, that would be absolutely positively remarkable you guys have been awesome so thank you guys for the support i do want to address something again though i keep seeing people saying hey drive this game's too easy your pokemon haven't died yet i'm telling you stick with me stick with me guys suzerain the guy who's the creator of the game posted on twitter the elite four is now available through the expansion the the newest update seven people have tried the elite four and all of them have lost guys this game is really 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 hard and i want to get through it i want to get through it so i've been training up the team i actually did not train up the team really since the last episode all i did was train up our newest pokemon harry which is our little mischievous here which has gotten up to level 43 so kind of caught up with the rest of the team does have magic guard does have the lucky egg and i do want to try to evolve it i don't know if the dust stone is going to be what we use to evolve it but i'm going to try it right now and see it doesn't have any effect so i actually don't know how to evolve this thing icy rock i have no idea we're gonna have to look it up because i have no idea maybe shiny stone maybe that'll work uh, oh, yo, the shiny still works. Well, there you go. That was a really lucky guess then. I will take that. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to work. But anyway, we got a question today today. What was the coolest thing that you have done this summer? Cool thing you did this summer. Let me know in the comment section below. Summer's actually coming to an end. We only got a few more weeks left. And there it is, Santa Hat Miss Magius, which is actually really cool. Uh, let's take a look at how strong this thing is. Hopefully, it learns some better moves because right now it's a little bit on the weak, uh, weak side, but... I mean, he's hanging in there, I guess. Let's take a look. He looks pretty cool with his cap on. I don't know if he's necessarily worth switching out. Uh, he's got really good special defense, decent special attack, good speed, you know, in comparison. So he's relatively bulky. Ice and Fairy isn't the best type in the world. At least he's neutral to uh, fighting, you know, but uh, his physical defense is pretty low. I'm going to probably rock with him and just see how he goes. Maybe he'll end up being a good Pokemon. Maybe he won't. I don't know. Let's take a look at our TMs, though, bef before we kind of continue. I got Incinerate. Let's see if anyone can learn Incinerate. Um, I doubt it. Oh, actually, Sandman can learn Incinerate, but that's not going to be that good. Silverwind actually could be a good move if Miss Magius can learn that. It can. Sweet. So we're going to give Harry Silverwind here because, he, again, he doesn't really have the best moves. I don't, I'm not going to rely on Sing because that's just never going to hit. But it does have Magic Art, which is a really great ability, man. It makes it so, like, not affected by status and things like that. We have Frost Breath. We have Charge Beam. Skull. I, I wonder if it could learn Skull just on, an, on a whim here. No. I figured I would try. Flame Charge, Return. I don't know if anyone else is going to be able to learn these moves. Venishock is kind of cool, but yeah, I'll take it. You know what? We'll rock with what we got right now. So I believe we're going to head to the next area, the next town. I did go to the game corner. I, I don't have enough coins or enough money to buy any more of those, and I'm really bad at those slot machines, so I think we're just going to leave that there. But uh, we will progress in the game here to Route 6, a brand spanking new route. Let's take on this trainer. That's Helios City up north. It's the biggest city in the region. Let's do it, man. Oh, I just realized. I think that they updated... Um, the little whatchamacallit i can't i can't think of what i'm trying to say uh like the little bars show up when you try to talk to somebody okay so i have to have sarming voice which is super effective but honestly i don't think it's worth me trying to take on this hit only so i'm gonna go into asparagus here just to be safe because i really feel like i'll get destroyed by him only if i try to attack it so he's gonna mind reader which means his next move takes uh always hits but uh, he's going to wide guard, so that's no big deal. So in terms of the coolest thing I did this summer, I'm going to tell you, uh, I don't know if there's anything that I really did that was all that cool this summer, but I am making that trip. I mentioned a few episodes ago uh, that I am considering making a trip to Fort Lauderdale, Florida to try to catch Heracross in Pokemon Go. And it is official, guys. We did the Heracross bit boss in the stream. You guys absolutely shattered the goal. Just amazing, amazing amounts of support. So you guys are getting that premium content, dude. I am, I booked my flight. I am flying from New York to Florida and going and catching Heracross, hopefully Corsolas as well. My goal is to catch at least one Corsola, maybe two Corsola. And again, I want to catch like 10 Heracross because I really want to get a Heracross that has 80% uh, IVs or above. Uh, so that way I can use it and like it'd be worth my time to, to actually like level it up with, uh, with like um, the different, um, whatchamacallit with like the Stardust and stuff in Pokemon Go. So I definitely want to try to get a really good Heracross. And that's going to be my main objective is to get that good Heracross. Once I have that good Heracross, I'm going to be less concerned about the other stuff. But uh, the other thing is I've been looking at the spawns and there is a tremendous amount of Magikarps in this area that we're going to. And uh, that means that we should probably try to get a Shiny Magikarp as well. So those are kind of the thought process. or That's the thought process 
for this little trip. And if you live in the Fort Lauderdale area or anywhere nearby, you are more than welcome to join us. I would love to meet up with you guys there. That would be absolutely incredible. So if you're in that area, please come hang out with us. Uh, see what I mean? Like the little bar kind of covers the screen. They do that in X and Y too. I know uh, Susan was talking about like adding that feature in. So that was really cool that they actually did that. So I think that's definitely gonna be the coolest thing that I do this summer, like this crazy day trip. And again, I'm flying there and back in the same day. So, all right, this is kind of scary dealing with a smear goal. I'm gonna frost breath it because it always critical hits. Um, and that's gonna do a lot of damage, but let's see he's gonna go for shell smash. So here we go Smeargle doing his thing shell smashing getting these boosts. I don't know what I should do, man I think I'm just gonna stay in with Harry because it's a Smeargle and just hope that he doesn't get like a moody boost for his uh, his Okay, so he lowered his accuracy, which is probably good. He's gonna boom burst, but actually that's okay I think we can live the boom burst. I think we can yeah So if it was a physical attack, I would have been more worried because Harry's obviously more uh, specially based, but I'll take it. And we have the lucky egg too, so we're gonna be leveling up quickly. And a Misharna, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I think, actually, I'm gonna stay in Silverwind, because I think it's gonna do good, oh, okay, that did nothing. That did nothing, he defense curl, but you know what, I don't know what a Misharna can do to me aside from go for like Psychic, so I'm just gonna keep going for the, he's gonna Hypnosis and miss, so I'm just gonna keep going for Silverwind then, and that's fine, and well, then we'll go for Frost Breath this next turn. Oh, we got the boost though! It's kind of a really bad time for the boost though of all the times to get it like now is not not exactly the time I wanted it, but lucky chance to block crits Oh, what happens if he lucky chance and I frost breath which is a move that always crits? Does it still crit? It doesn't crit. Wow, that's very interesting to note uh, lucky chance does block that I actually really had no idea So I'm holding off on getting my encounter at this moment in time because I kind of want to see what the heck is that over there? I kind of want to see what else is on this route um, and I will eventually get my encounter. There's a bug catcher, so I know I'm gonna have to battle him Let's go down here and grab this item. Oh, there's like rare. There's like a rare candy for us down there How the heck do I get down there? I definitely got to get down there. Let's battle this guy bug types are the strongest and I won't hear anything to the contrary Ah, All right, mr. Contrary. Let's see what you got here. Mr. Bug catcher Mikeage. and I am in the game guys I told you guys that I am in the game um, I'm in the battle frontier, so you gotta get to the battle frontier, which I know we just kind of passed by. Yo, look at Harry putting in the finest, dude. Frost Breath just obliterating Butterfree, and all the way up to 45, dude. This thing is so powerful already, but I'm a little nervous because he is kind of weak on the physical side. Uh, I'm definitely switching out against a Beedrill. Let's go to Sandman, actually. I would normally go into Crobat, but I think Sandman's a good switch. I think we can make some work happen here with Sandman. He's gonna go for the Poison Jab, which is pretty much what I expected. That would have definitely destroyed me. No poison. All right, cool. And we can actually just earthquake, dude. We're just gonna do some damage. It's gonna do some damage. Let's see how much it does. Oh, we live though. I should have bulldozed, but that's okay. Earthquake will do it. So I'm putting in the work. So now we have what do we have? Four deltas on our team. So we gotta figure out what we're doing, what we're working with here, man. A ninjas. I don't know if I can actually attack this thing. I'll return. It's gonna mind reader, but he doesn't get like guillotine or anything, so I think we're gonna be okay. Big damage there, he gets a speed boost. And he's gonna Swords Dance, but I don't think he's gonna live this next hit, so I'm not too concerned. See you later, Ninjask. That's it for you, buddy. All right, cool, Salmon up to 42, very powerful. I like it, bug types are the best, he says. I agree. All right, let's heal up really quickly, just to make sure we're in good shape. I got some super potions here, I got plenty of hyper potions. So we'll use these guys here, just to heal up, make sure everyone is feeling fancy. Feeling good, I got a potion here, let's use that one on Sandman. All right, cool. I actually feel like maybe I should put, uh, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's let's take the item from Harry. Uh, actually, no, this says Magnet. Let, well, let's switch him anyway. Diamond can get some action here, and I'll give Harry the Lucky Egg anyway, so he could, he could stay lucky. We can stay lucky, dude. We'll give him the Lucky Egg. And uh, Sandman doesn't have an item. Let's give Sandman an item just so he has something, because he's, he's feeling lonely over there. Um, let's see, what can I give him? I can give him the Focus Band, maybe. It'll give him a chance to live a hit if he were to die. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Why not? We'll give him the focus band. Uh, he's pretty bulky, so it's not like he's gonna have too many issues, but I think I think that's a cool idea. So, let's see. Any hidden grottos over here? I'm gonna probably get my encounter right now, yeah. So, it was gonna happen eventually. And it's a Go-Goat, actually. A level 35 Go-Goat. So, I can probably Shockwave, which isn't gonna do too much because it's resisted. Let's see how much he's gonna bulk up. It makes me a little nervous. Because I know he does get some pretty powerful moves, but I'm going to Shockwave again. Let's see what he does. He's going to Seed Bomb. This could hurt. 
Yeah, I gotta switch out. I'm gonna switch out. We're gonna go to back row. Because I don't want to, like, lose a Pokemon just trying to catch a Go-Go, dude. Especially not a Delta Pokemon to a Go-Go. That would be frustrating. Okay, I can probably bite and it won't knock him out. Because he is plus one defense. Yeah, okay, good. I figured that was the case. Sweet. He's got takedown, though, so that might actually might ruin our plans. He's going to live, but uh, he could knock himself out here, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. So I will throw an Ultra Ball, which is a little bit better than a Nuzlocke Ball. Maybe the Ultra Ball and Nuzlocke Ball are the same. I don't know. Okay, cool. We caught him. Sweet, dude. So we caught Go-Goat. What do I name a Go-Goat, anyway? The inhabitant mountainous regions, the leader of the herd is decided by a battle of clashing horns. He's a mountain goat Pokemon. I'm gonna name him Billy, because I feel like Billy Goat, dude, you know? Like, that's a pretty easy one. We'll call him Billy. The homie Billy, baby. Welcome to the team. All right. Um, let me just use some potions real quick on him and I use my last potion. We might have to go stock up, dude, because we're running out here. We're running a wee bit low. We'll heal up Diamond there. I got plenty of Hyper Potions, though, but what's over here? Hidden Grotto or anything? Some little water path. Let's see what's going on over here. Some secret areas. I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to go or, like, a different way. Huh, this is a peculiar area. This is weird. What What's going on over here? There's nothing over here? I'm like pressing the A button too in case I missed anything. That's weird that there's like nothing here. Can you handle this? I'm coming at you with full force. All right, well, I'll battle this dude, but something suspicious about this area. I don't know what it is. It's got a Spinda. I think Diamond can put in some work here with some Ice Beams though. Teeter Dance. Ugh, I hate confusion. No. I hate confusion, dude. Sucker Punch. It's not super effective though. Ouch. And we heard ourselves in confusion again. No, Diamond, what are you doing? You're supposed to knock this thing out. All right, I'm going into Sandman. Let's go to Sandman. We'll hit him with some earthquakes or some bulldozes. Sucker Punch. Don't teeter dance me again, though, please. Because that's annoying. He does it again. At least Swagger boosts my attack. You know what I mean? At least Swagger may so I'll knock him out easily. Spin is such a weird Pokemon, dude. Like, it's literally base 60 across the board, which is really, really bad for non-evolving Pokemon. It doesn't really get any good moves. It does get contrary superpower, though. So it can, like, superpower and then get boosts. Ooh, a Diggersby, though. All right, we're going to bulldoze. Don't be confused anymore, please, Sandman. Good job. Diggersby, though. We got a little speed drop there. I'm going to hit him with another bulldoze just because I feel like... Don't... No, stop it, Sandman. Stop hitting yourself in confusion, dude. Flail. Stop flailing me, bro. All right, we snapped out. We hit him with a bulldoze. And I'm pretty sure an earthquake will knock him out from here. So I'm gonna go for the earthquake. And if it doesn't knock him out, we lose a Pokemon, I'll be sad. All right, cool. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I mean, no, it, it could happen. We have the focus band too, so it would have been, we would have been good. Yo, dude, can you tell me what's going on? What's, what's going on over here? Cause this is, this is interesting. There's nothing over here, but there should be something over here. I'm, I'm just feeling it. Let's go for the fresh waters. Let's do that. That'll work. Okay. I got 12 Hyper Potions, so we may need to still stock up, but I think we're getting close to the next town. So I'm kind of feeling that. All right, let's hop back on Lapras. We'll go back this way, because who knows where we're supposed to even go. I didn't explore over here, so let's check this out real quick. Oh, we got a revive. The most useful item in the world on a Nuzlocke that I can't revive Pokemon. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I should sell it. Whoa, we got an encounter while we're in the water on the ground. A Lapras! Dude, that's hype. I wish I could have caught it. I kind of want to shockwave it, but I'm just going to run. I wish I could have caught it. We're like not even on the water anymore. Ooh, what is this area? This is interesting. Going to battle. Every year, a huge parade goes through this route north to Helio City. It's a fantastic celebration. All right. Oh, it's a bird keeper. And he's got a Pidgeot. Level 42 Pidgeot. All right, well, this is a good matchup for Diamond here. Even though he agilityed, Ice Beam is still going to be a two-shot, I would imagine. Wow, dude. Or just one-shot some. See you later. 
My goodness. <clears throat> Calm down, Diamond. He's got a Swoobat. Oh yeah, we're Ice Beaming this thing too. Future Sight, that's a little bit annoying, but I'm pretty sure an Ice Beam or two will knock him out anyway. Get out of here, dude. We might even be able to avoid the Future Sight, depending on what his last Pokemon is. And Diamond's pretty bulky anyway, so should be able to take the hit. And here comes a Fero. Yeah, I'm going for it, dude. Assurance, we should take that. Ice Beam, if it knocked out the other two, it'll knock out the Fero. Yeah, dude. Ice Beam power, man. Like, who even needs Future Sight? That ain't coming to hit me. All right, let's see what's going on over here. There's some little, uh, I gotta keep an eye out for the Hidden Grottos. Cause I haven't seen one yet, but I'm sure there is one. Um, I'm keeping an eye out for it. It looks like we almost made it through. So how the heck do I get through this little maze though? Oh, I guess we go this way. That's weird. I, I never saw any Hidden Grottos, so. Route seven, okay, so we're still not done yet. We got route seven. I'm gonna run away and enjoy the circus! This man's going to the circus, baby! Juggler Shan sent out Ambipom. Um, this is a bad, I'm gonna Ice Beam, but this could be bad. Oh, he flinged, so that's fine. I think I could take a hit from an Ambipom. He's gonna fling again, that's fine, man. I am cool with you flinging whatever you're flinging at me, dude. You know, like that's cool. You could you could just keep clicking fling. Right, what else you got, Mr. Circus? An ambipom again. He's got two ambipoms. Does this one fling too? They, they all they fling, all they do is fling. Every day I'm flinging, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was the easiest battle I've ever done. Um, you know, when your opponent just clicks the same move that doesn't actually do anything, I'll take it, man. Good programming on that one. <laughs> nah, I, I'm just surprised it didn't have a held item. This is actually a new route again, dude. We get new new encounters. New opportunities. This little windmill thing. Uh, maybe it's not a windmill. Ooh, we can purify this water, though. That's what we should do. Let's do that to get that rare candy. So how do I do it? I need to go... I go to my poke... No, I go to my bag? I don't even know how to use this Mew thing. I forgot. Quartz Flute. Uh, seed Flare. Sweet, dude, check that out. That was cool. And I got a rare candy. That's cool, man, that they have that like little, I like that you actually get to use it, you know? That's pretty sweet. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything down there. I do kind of want to explore the water here, but I haven't gotten my encounter yet, so I'm a little sketched out about that. Doesn't seem like there's any reason for the water, so we're good. And I guess I'll battle you. You see, you see the auger? Don't be ridiculous, he's far too important to waste his time with people like you. All right, well, you're just being kind of mean, to be honest, Parasol Lady. He's got a Basculin. Um, I'm just gonna shockwave it and see what happens. Ooh, that could have been bad, actually. You know what, if he hit that Aqua Tail, that might have been the end of Diamond, I'm gonna be honest. That might have been the end of Diamond. I don't know, man, Basculin's not like super strong, but he's kind of strong, and Aqua Tail's a pretty powerful move. I don't know, man. There's an Absol. I'm switching, though. He might have Pursuit, but I think we can live it either way. Um, should I go to Harry, maybe? Or, uh, he's Dark type. Who should I use? Let's go to Harry. Harry's not. Don't pursue me, though, please. All right, cool. He's going to go for me first. Cool move, though. Uh, I'm going to go for the Silver Wind. See how that does for me. Get the boost. Me first. It doesn't work unless you're faster, bro. I don't think you know how this works. Frost Breath there, that'll probably be it. Cool. I love that the crit chant, like the always crit with Frost Breath. It makes it a really good move. It makes it about as strong as Ice Beam is gonna be, you know? So it's a really good move. Heliolisk. Uh, I'm just gonna Frost Breath this thing too. Like it's crit. Charge, just gonna boost his special defense. All right, so now I'm not gonna go for another Frost Breath. I'm gonna go for the Hyper Voice this time, I think. Just for like neutral damage. Parabolic charge. Ouch, he actually got a lot of health back there. Uh, I should have frost breath, that was a mistake. He's gonna charge again. All right, so here's the beauty though. Frost breath will hit through the crit chance. So we can just frost breath. Wait, I missed, I didn't know you could miss frost breath. Oh, he charged again though. I didn't even know that could miss. I thought it was like 100% accurate. He's gonna quick attack. And Frost Breath should knock him out because it ignores the defense boost. All right, cool. 
Dude, I was so confused. I'm like, I didn't even know I could miss Frost Breath. I thought it was 100%. It might be like 95, maybe? I gotta check that, dude. I was like pretty sure it was 100%. Oh, it's 90. Maybe they adjusted it, dude, because I always felt like it was 100%, but I don't know. Oh, wow, this is cool. Something tells me, like, anytime you go to a bridge in Pokemon, I'm always sketched out that I'm gonna battle somebody. So let me just heal real quick. You know what? If I have to buy more potions, I'd rather, I'd rather, like, prepare, you know? I'm always sketched out when you cross a bridge. Oh, so we're in Helio City. Okay, so no issues. <laughs> I figured I would just play it safe, man. So let's actually just grab our encounter here in the wild uh, on Route 7, and it is gonna be a chat -ot. I'm not too keen on chat -ot, to be perfectly honest. Um, not exactly that thrilled about it. Um, I will go into... I guess I'll go into back row and bite it. I mean, chat -ot's cool and all, but, like, I feel like I keep catching all these Pokemon, and, like, I don't plan on using them because I want to use the Deltas, so... It's like, I'll catch them just in case, you know, we might need a Pokemon in the future. But, like, I don't I don't think I'm going to use a chat out, you know? That was good damage, though. Fury attack. Alright, let's throw one of those Nuzlocke balls at this thing. Nuzlocke ball. Okay, cool. So we finally made it to Helios. And apparently this is where you can do, like, the trade evolutions. I think Helios is, like, the big city in this game. Dude, the catch rate in this game is ridiculous. I saw someone else on Twitter like complaining about the catch rate, saying it's like ridiculous. Like, it's way too hard to catch Pokemon. But I kind of like that. I mean, I think it adds to the challenge of the game to have the catch rate be annoying. I mean, it's annoying, don't get me wrong. Like, it's very annoying, especially in situations like this, where it's like, all right, dude, it's a chat -ot. I barely want the chat in the first place. And it's in red health. And I'm th But I think we're spoiled, man, because in regular Pokemon games, dude, it's so easy to catch Pokemon nowadays, you know? Okay, all right, now <laughs> now it's a little bit annoying. Now it's a little bit annoying. Chat out, chat out, stop it, stop it. St stop it, stay in the Nuzlocke ball, dude. I'm throwing an Ultra Ball this time because I don't know if they're better. All right, we got him, dude. All right, I was gonna say that was getting a little bit obnoxious. A lot of bit obnoxious, to be honest. All right, so we got a chat out. I can speak and learn human words. It's pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty sure, like, parrots live super long lives, too. Like, insanely long lives. But anyway, we're done with this. Into Helio City we go. E Drive, you're finally here. I have some bad news. I went to the Jade Tower to warn the auger, but there were already cultists there. We need to find another entrance in. I wonder if we can get through the sewers or something. Oh, man. So, my homie telling us that there's some problems here. This guy's, oh, they got the big rich department store. The Poke Mall is bigger. They have a big economy here, apparently. There's an upstairs. Oh my god, look how big this Pokemon Center is. Have you heard about all the, the totem Pokemon, Null Ultra Beasts? Oh man, that's cool. They they actually referenced um, like, like Sun and Moon. Trying in some snow gear. I'm just gonna talk to everybody. Oh, she just gave me a pearl, dude. What a nice person. Just like, hey, here's a pearl. A Totoda, oh man. I heard rumors about a Delta Pokemon in the northern end of the region. Delta Cyndaquil, huh. Oh man. That's interesting. Let me try to talk to everybody. So that's the downstairs, this is the second floor of the Pokemon Center. Trash is empty. Do you think the whole situation in Torin will be fixed? I don't know. I'm trying to fix it, dude. Always check the trash cans. I don't know if Suzerain is the kind of guy to put stuff in the trash can. Oh, there's like a line for the Pokemart? I want to talk to them. Excuse you, I'm in line? Dude, not when I'm here. You're not in line when I'm here, big dog. Uh, let's grab some Hyper Potions. I don't want to buy that many. I'll grab some Super Potions, too. Cool, and actually, you know what? Let's see if we have stuff to sell. Because I know we just got that pearl, so maybe there'll be other stuff. Let's sell the pearl, we'll get 700 bucks for that. We'll sell... What else can I sell? The fossil's are only 500 bucks, man? What a ripoff, dude. It's a fossil. Like, I, th I would imagine the going rate for a fossil is more than 500. The clothes shop, oh, that's cool. I've been chilling in the same clothes, because 
I don't want to spend money. I'm cheap. I don't know if I heal, so let's just heal real quick. And then we're gonna explore some of Helios City. Apparently, we gotta save the world again, but, you know, it's all good, dude. It's all good, man. Let's just do a little bit of exploring here in Helios. A little bit of exploring. Did I talk to this guy over here? Man, I knew Helios City was big. What is this, Lumio City? Oh, is it really that big? It's the biggest city in the region. It's known for the Jade. Oh, it's the capital city, okay. So that's pretty cool. Let's check out this house. If you're looking to get into the Jade Tower, I hear it's closed. It's the biggest city in the region. There's a ton of stuff here. There's a Riolu. What else we got? A Chadot. I'm gonna guess right now that this Chadot is gonna give me a metronome. Um, I was sadly disappointed and incorrect, apparently. Have I seen you on TV? There's something about you. Oh boy. The auger is incredible, attractive, and he's a good battler too. All right. Oh, we can we can surf there if we wanted to. There's an auger statue. I don't know what this is. This is it a department store? Oh, nice. The first floor is potions and stuff, incense. Second floor is TMs. And third floor is evolutionary items and air balloons. And then the basement is completely off limits. There's no hole that leads down to the sewers in the black market underneath the city in the basement. It's absolutely forbidden. Okay, well now we know which way to go. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Now we know exactly which way to go. Uh, let's take a look at kind of all the good stuff here. We might as well take a look at um, what we have here. So this is the hairstylist, but he's for Furfru. We got, uh, oh, this is good stuff here. Smoke ball, pure incense. So all the incense for breeding. So some of this stuff might come in handy, so let's take a look. Here's all the type type of Pokeballs that are cool. These are neat. I'm not too keen on the kind of Pokeball I use, to be honest. I don't care that much. What about you? You got all the potions and stuff. Alright, so let's take out that TM person, because that could be the useful person to talk to. There's a random Pokeball just chilling there. I can't get to it, though. Am I in your way? Yes, you are, actually. Oh, don't tell me they do that just to tease you. I think they just do that to tease you because there's no way to get to her. All right, well, anyway. Uh, protect, frustration, rock team, live wire, lays an unclosed circuit at the foe's feet, paralyzing those who touch it. That's really cool. Uh, sleep talk, shockwave. Nothing I'm gonna grab, but good stuff. Live wire might be worth grabbing, especially for Gardevoir. It, like, paralyzes Pokemon on entry, I think. And then here's the training items for EV training, which... I think, like, this game gets so hard that you do need to EV train later on. And then here's the good stuff. Toxic or Mental Error. Are any of these useful for me right now? Focus Sash, I think, for 200 bucks is so worth it. Um, I'm trying to think what else could be really good that I have. Um, Rocky Helmet could be good. For 200 bucks, like, I'll buy the Rocky Helmet. I'll take that. Um, I like the scope lens idea, but expert bell is definitely worth it. I'm gonna grab two of those. Um, power herbs. I'll hold off on the rest, <clears throat> but some good stuff. Oh, you can get an ability capsule. I'm looking to buy a razor fang. I wonder if I gave him a razor fang, he would do that. Uh, so here's all the evolutionary items. Soothe bell is cool, metal coat, reaper cloth. So this is good stuff. I don't think I need any of them right now, but... Good to know that they're here. I like how they make them available in the game for you. And then here's all the stones, which is nice too. Sweet. So that's really good. So we know we can get pretty much everything we need in Helio's department store. <clears throat> and I bought a lot of a lot of good items too. Like I think Rocky Helmet could be really good. I don't really think we have the best Pokemon on our team for those items right now, but it's nice to know that we have the items in case we need them. And I know I gotta kind of double back to that the basement there, so. It's a ginormous, ginormous, ugh, ginormous sewer system. I can't talk. Oh, let's check out this house. It's empty, evidently. There's a guy. I'm willing to sell you this egg for 2,500 bucks. What do you say? Dude, I'm sick of these eggs, man. They never hatch into anything good. Like, they really don't. If you want to buy the really rare ones, look at the black market. Oh, they have rare Pokemon? In the black market under the sewer? Dude, I really want to get to the sewer now. No one's giving me anything. I've always wanted the Gyarados. If you trade me one, I can give you a Barboach. Is it like a Delta Barboach, dude? Because I don't want a Barboach. Please take this item. A life, ooh, a life orb. 
Wow, dude. That's really solid. People are so generous in this region. They're just like, oh, here's a life orb for you. There's so many houses to explore, guys. I feel like I just need to do all of it right now. So, wait, hold on. Say that again. The gym leader of Helio City is a team based around the sky. I mean, it sounds like a good ice type Pokemon completely tears through his team. So we have two ice types. So that's really good. That's really good. My favorite is the psychic type. Just because I'm a black belt. <laughs> just because I'm a black belt doesn't mean I have to love fighting types. This man. I like it. I like his, his swag. Swallow. Did you know that a poison type is actually unable to miss with the move toxic? I did know that. Oh, so the... The legendary mythicals used to be abundant, but now they're down to one of a kind. This guy looks intense. I'll trade you my Delta Lotad for any dragon type. Dude, I'm sorry, but it's time. It is time. We are going to make a trade skis, dude. I got to go see what dragon types I have, but I only think I have one. Is it worth it for Delta Lotad? It's so tempting. I only have a fracture, dude. Like, is it worth? Is it worth it? Do I get rid of Havoc for a Delta Lotad? And you know what? If I just level up Adept one level though, he'll be a Dragon type. I'm gonna do Adept, cause then I get to keep the other dude. So let's actually like uh, just ignore the fact that I'm making some swaps here, because this is this is a solid strategy. I'll just use a. Uh, I could actually just go Secret Base and just do one level up. I don't know where the Secret Base is. There's where's the bookcases? Where's the bookcases for the Secret Base? Where is it? I don't know where the secret base is. Maybe it doesn't exist in this town. All right, I'm just gonna use the rare candy then. I'm pretty sure he evolves uh, at this level, so. And honestly, with the secret base training, rare candies aren't that big of a deal. Evolve. He didn't evolve. He still didn't evolve. He's trying to learn Sludge Bomb. I just wasted so many rare candies on this stupid thing and it hasn't evolved yet. I'll just give it to Aqua Tail. Come on, Dabney's supposed to evolve. I want this Lotat. Oh my God, I just keep leveling him up. He still didn't evolve! What level does this thing evolve? 40? I just wasted so many rare candies for no reason. That was so dumb. That was so dumb. I need to level them up. This is my objective right now. There's gotta be the secret base access here somewhere. It's gotta be. I don't know where, but it's gotta be somewhere. Down here? Yeah, okay. So I just wasted all those rare candies for no reason, but again, like, it's pretty easy to train here. So, uh, I'm gonna face the level 31, because he'll, um, I think it's level 40 that he evolves, and then I can get the Delta Lotad. Which is super worth it, dude. All right, Skrelp, I need you to Sludge Bomb. He should definitely level up, I'm assuming, from these three trainers. 1600, oh man, maybe it's not enough. Maybe it's not enough, maybe I underestimated. Here, I'll speed this up. Maybe you just speed this part up, because this is not that important. Maybe I underestimated the amount of experience I was getting. Oh, it's close. I think we might get it. Let's see here, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, and Sludge Bomb. Please give me just enough to get to 40. I think he evolves at 40. Yes, evolve. He didn't evolve. What the heck, dude? What level does this thing evolve? I have to do this now, I have to. We just have to grind it out, dude. I got. I got. I should've given him a lucky egg. I gotta find out what level this thing evolves. I have no idea, but it's really frustrating because I just want to get a, a Delta Lotad, dude. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see what the Delta Lotad looks like, man. We can't just be leaving off like this. Level 41, maybe it's 42 he evolves. Maybe it's 41, maybe it's 46. I don't know what level, I have no idea. I thought he evolved by now though, I really did. I thought it was like 36 or something. I actually thought it was like 32. But come on, dude, step it up, man. Evolve, evolve. I am begging of you, little, little Dragalgy. He still didn't evolve. No, this is ridiculous. Let's do it again. I'm just gonna keep doing it. We're running out of money, but I really want him to evolve because I really want this low tad. All right, he's gonna healing wish. That'll get us to 42. I think it's 42. Yeah, he wants to learn hydro pump. That's gotta be it. It's gotta be it, dude. The hydro pump level. That's gotta be it. I'm convinced. I'm convinced now. That's gonna put us at 43, I think. Yeah, after this trainer, we'll be 43. If that's not enough, man, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I did everything I could. Well, that did nothing. Why did that do nothing? I got the poison, at least. All right, Hydro Pump. Come on. Okay. Please evolve, dude. 
Oh my god, he still didn't evolve, guys. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do or say. All right, I'm gonna just keep training them up because I, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. So I'll just cut the video at this point in time until I get him to evolve. As I figured it out, it is level 48. I had to look it up, dude, because it was taking so long and I'm just like, how am I not evolved yet? Like, what is going on? But it is level 48 that he evolves, which is kind of ridiculous because now I'm gonna have like a level 48 Delta Lotad, but I really want to see what it looks like, man. And it is what it is, dude. So it'll be totally worth it. It'll be totally worth it. So let's see here. I just gotta knock this dude out. He's almost knocked out. I gotta use Toxic because I'm out of attacks. And this is gonna evolve us. He's gonna go down. And he's level 49, wants to learn Dragon Pulse. Sure, why not? We'll just give it a double team. Even though I'm trading him now. I didn't want to give it a Fracture. All right, so Dev is evolving now. And now we have a Dragon type to trade for Delta Lotad. So that was that was a good deal. I wish I had a Steel type to go back and get the scissor, uh, Scyther, but that's okay. Um, Maybe if I, it's so easy to train, like if I come up with one, I'll like go back and get it. So now we have a Dragalgy. So let's go trade this with the Lotad dude and get our Delta Lotad. And it's gonna be a little bit longer of an episode, obviously, because I got distracted with this Delta Lotad thing. And I really want a Delta Lotad, because it's there. I might as well. Maybe it'll be like my new favorite Pokemon. So you never know, man. All right, so what house was it? Was it this house? I don't even remember. I haven't even been in that house yet. So we're gonna come back to this idea. Um, I think it was this house, maybe? I have to still explore the rest of the city, because, wait, was it this house? An oddly shade Pokemon. Oh, so this is talking about Delta. I'm so confused. Like, I'm really lost. This city's a lot bigger than I thought. This guy's got a little Bonsai, though. Would you like to take care of one of my Bonsai? It's free? I don't really want a Bonsai right now, dude. Like, I appreciate the effort, but... And before, like, Delta Pseudo Wudo is a thing. Maybe it's this house. I don't remember what house it was. Okay, so I saw the ice type thing. Yep, I remember that. And this is the fighting dude. So it wasn't this guy. Was it this house? There's a library filled with all kinds of books. Okay. So Psychic Types only had one weakness. I need that. All right, I might as well just look at this house. Did I scare you? Take this TM. Oh, you got me Roar. Thanks for that, dude. Um, we still have so much to explore. I'm gonna explore the rest of the town in the next episode, but I wanna find this Delta Rolt, or the Delta Lotad, dude. How am I having such a hard time with this? It's gotta be this house. This guy, yeah, there he is. Yes. Yeah, oh no, 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 I'm keeping my lucky egg. I am keeping my lucky egg. Okay, now you can take the, the Dragalgy. It's a good deal. Okay. What a deal, let's go, baby. Give me this Delta Lotad, I'm so excited to see what it looks like. I hate Pokemon that are traded, but it's all good, dude. Oh my God, look at it. What is going on with this Lotad, dude? He looks kind of crazy looking. He's level 49, which is really powerful. Psychic and water type, impish nature, magic bounce. Psyshock, rain dance, stored power, whirlpool. This may actually be worth considering here. He's got a weird name, Demix. Um, and he's really powerful, but psychic water is kind of cool, dude. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I'm gonna use him per se, but we have an option to potentially use him. So anyway, this is where I'm gonna wrap up for today, guys. Let me know in the comments section below what was the coolest thing you did this summer. You can let me know there. This is actually a tough decision because I feel like he could be a cool Pokemon to add to the team, but um, I'll consider him later. He's got Magic Bounce, dude, I like that. But uh, let me know, guys, and if you guys enjoyed this episode, show some love on that like button down below. The next episode is gonna be hype, guys. We're gonna be exploring the rest of Helio City and beginning the underground adventure to figure out what is going on with this cultist and the auger. So that'll be hype, guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drive, and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace.